Hi, welcome to Mugout Farms. Today we're changing the oil in our Generac generator. It's a 17 kW generator and it shouldn't take too long, but we'll see how this goes. The kit comes with everything you need. 5W30 is what we're going to use, full synthetic, a Generac oil filter, a little funnel, which is pretty cool, a couple spark plugs, and a Generac air filter. So everything was from Generac. I'll leave the part numbers in the description and then you can check that out. You might find them other places. But we went ahead and bought it from Generac because we weren't exactly sure what this particular generator needed based on the serial number of the unit. That looks pretty cool. That's an oil cooler. <laughs> oh, that's pretty neat. So we pull this off and we're gonna set our bucket, in this case, our bowl. And we're just gonna unscrew it. No, we're not. We're gonna just unscrew it. It's not coming. There she goes. What do you get out of there, stupid? Oh, go! Get. Did you almost look it? Yeah, she did that in the barn the other day. Go, go. Oh, definitely. She she's chewing on your box. Get. I know she's a. Ah! Just use a little bit of the oil and just put it on the seal of the oil filter. So on the seal oil filter like that, so it, it has a good seal. Pretty excited it came with a rack. Now how is that cool or what? In order to get my filter off, I'd move this wiring harness up. It was below, I'm gonna go to put it back below now. It's probably a good idea to start this up, get it good and warm, then shut it off. At that point, dump your oil. I did it cold. So it took a little bit longer to get the oil out. And I'm guessing not all of it's out, but enough of it's out for this oil change. So you're gonna put the, put the cap back on, screw it down tight, put it back up in its place, and hook the, hook the cable around it. Now it's back where it needs to be. New filter's in place. It's time to put the oil in. Yeah. They gave us a paper oil filter. How cool is that? Generator. <laughs> While I'm letting the oil settle, I'm going to go ahead and change out the spark plugs. There we go. Oh, that thing is clean. We're going to check the gap. Just to make, we're going to check the gap just to make sure what we're about to do is right. You definitely want to check your owner's manual for the, for the engine that you have. It may or may not be the same as mine. This one's a 040 and this gap is 040. We're going to check our new spark plug and make sure it's at the same gap. I'm impressed. It's the same gap. There are two spark plugs, one on this side and one on the back side. So we're gonna put the we're gonna put this one in first and then we're gonna put the second one in. That one's in. This one came gapped as well. That 
rinsed it. That one's still pretty clean. I was thinking that would be the case. Since we didn't fill up our oil filter and we can't fill up the oil cooler, what's inside the engine wasn't quite enough. So I'd put in a quart and a half. Now I'm going to put in maybe a quarter of a quart to make sure that it comes up to the right level. Okay. Now you finish while you're doing. We're staying here, okay? Here, Graham. Nick, or like your mom come over? I don't know, buddy. Some point. Because normally, I want to do Stop Halloween the with Something is not. With Nanny and your mom. Yeah, With me. It took about almost two quarts, but not quite two quarts. I'm not going to overfill it. I don't think that's a good idea. But we're right where we need to be. The, the last thing we have to do is change out the air filter. This is really clean. Um, it looks like the it looks like the new one actually, but we're going to replace it anyway. I'm going to start it up again. We're going to run a quick test. On the display, you can hit enter uh, and it will reset the display for the change of the oil and the filter and the spark plugs and the air filter. It also prompts you to do a battery test too. I don't have my tester with me. I'm going to test that another day. But we definitely are going to do a test. This thing is done. We changed the oil. We changed two spark plugs and the air filter. And, and that's it. It's so easy. I'm going to do this every single year. It's been a couple years since we did this one, and you can tell the oil looked pretty bad. Thankfully, it's synthetic, and we don't use it a lot. So, we're okay for now. And now this is a, this is done. Until next year, anyway. We are a first generation farm. I'm a Marine veteran, and I got the opportunity to serve on both the enlisted and the officer side. Uh, I, I took up farming about, I don't know, five, 10 years ago. I uh, did some farming in addition to my regular work, which was auto body work after I left the Marines. Now it's just simply farming. All we do is farming. Uh, we do have a B&B here on the farm, and we'd love to host you sometime. Go to millgatfarms.com. Check it out. It's pretty cool out here. This whole operation should take about 30 minutes. If you heat up your generator before you start, it could go a little bit quicker. If you don't, it's going to take a while for the oil to get out. It took us a little bit longer than 30 minutes because my kids got in here and grabbed the key. So we had to find the key so we could open everything up. Be sure you lock yours up and put your key in a safe place. I put my key in the side over here. Now that my kids found it, I'm going to find a different place to put the key. When you're done, make sure you put it back into auto or it's not coming on when your power goes off. Lesson learned. 
Looking forward to catching you in the next video. Until next time, God bless you.